Chef Steph. If you're like me, a pastaholic, and you've already undoubtedly heard that pasta is not that good for you, so you've tried to cure your cravings and substitute it with whole wheat pasta, quinoa pasta, anything else that might be a little bit healthier than pasta, but nothing ever works, well then I have some very exciting news for you. Spaghetti squash. This is a great substitute for pasta. It's a vegetable, so it's jam-packed with folic acid, potassium, and vitamin A. It's very inexpensive. That whole squash cost me four bucks. Very easy to find, very easy to make, doesn't take very long, and for an entire cup of spaghetti squash, it's only 42 calories. You can add it to anything that you would normally put with pasta. So you can have spaghetti squash with meatballs and sauce. Set your oven to 350 degrees. Now you're going to take your spaghetti squash and place it on a cutting board. Make sure it's a very stable cutting board because you don't want it sliding around on you when you're trying to cut this. Now we're going to take your knife, I mean knife, and cut it down the center. Please be careful when you're going to do this. This is clearly not the least dangerous thing you could do in a kitchen, which is exactly why you need a very stable board underneath the spaghetti squash. So first we're going to hold it. Watch your thumb over here. Maybe you should hold it over here. Plunge your knife in. Now, if it's easy for you to drag it, then by all means go for it. If it's not giving for you, then face the knife away from you, pull it back out slowly, and then work your way down. So now plunge it over here. Take it out again. And work your way around until they're in halves. So once you have them in halves, you can see that there's actually seeds in here. You can roast them like you would roast pumpkin seeds. But we don't need them for now, so I'm just gonna get all this stringy stuff out of the squash. All the seeds out, all the stringy stuff. Do you like my technical verbiage? Now that the insides are mostly cleaned out, you're gonna take a shallow baking pan. You're going to place these flesh side down. Then you're going to fill your tray with a little bit of water. Now place these in your oven for 40 minutes. So they've been in the oven for 40 minutes. They just came out. If you can easily stick a fork in them, they're tender enough to make into spaghetti. Use a fork to shred the squash away from the skin and place in a serving tray. It's like spaghetti! You're almost done. Now just add two tablespoons of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and mix. If the spoon isn't cutting it for you, do this. Mmm! Want some? Super easy, right? And it totally looks like spaghetti. Mmm. Let me know if you come up with anything that tastes super awesome with this spaghetti squash and leave it in the comments below to share with everybody. Have a great week, and as always, keep it classy. No, turn it up.